time was I shocked. Imagine that guy going into a coma. I can't imagine. A picture of health and Jerry Garcia goes into a coma. I got nervous. I was afraid we wouldn't have any more 15-hour concerts with him in Hot Tuna. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad. Hot Tuna? Yeah. Uh, now tell us the kind of things you're going to do in this uh, syndicated radio show. Well, uh, we're going to bring uh, lesbian dial a day to the rest of the country. I've told you about that. <laughs> You try and fix them up with various folks. Yeah, in the you know, Jim Lang Jr. I uh, become, I actually become the Jim Lang Jr. experience, mm -hmm. and uh, I always thought that this was a thing that only New Yorkers could handle, Dave. But I think the rest of the country is ready. Yeah. And when, when can we uh, start listening for the show? Hopefully for September 1st is our uh, air date. Yeah. All and, across the country. Yeah, and then we have other big news that I'm announcing on your show for the first time. This is going to freak some people out in Philadelphia. We're going to start doing our morning show not only in New York, but it's going to be aired over WISP FM in Philly. Simulcast. So we're simulcasting into Philadelphia. So you're building a little network. We're building a mini network yeah. because I can't wait around for any more networks to uh, ask me to work on this my own out. damn network. Yeah. Going city to city. City to city. Now do you get more money when you go to Philadelphia? Getting a lot more money, yeah. yeah. Getting more money. In fact, uh, leaving NBC. NBC hardly paid me. Uh, I'm not going to get into the specifics. Why didn't they re renegotiate your deal at one point? Didn't you go to them and say, I really ought to be making more money? And they said, okay, Howard. Dave, I was carrying the radio station, as you know. You know, it sounds awfully pompous when it comes from me, but in all sincerity, nobody else, <laughs> nobody else is going to take my horn, if you know what I mean. Uh -huh. So I have to come on here and say this myself. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> NBC was making like $5 million a year off of my show. Yeah, just selling time on your selling program. Selling time on my program. Yeah. Family entertainment was what we were about. And we were... Oh, if you're the Manson family, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. You have sixes carved in your head. This is it for you. But uh, they held me back. I tried to get a network deal with NBC. I wanted to do no a network go. show. No go. They yeah. held me back every step of the way. Now, why did you get uh, released? What, did we ever get to the bottom of that? Well, there was a couple of stories going around, Dave. And right now, you know, I was too emotional the last time I was on to talk about it. You can see I was deeply upset. Yeah, you were. It had been a couple of months right yes, after Yes, it was that. a very emotional yeah. experience. I was crying every night yeah. of my life. But um, the reason I got fired was because the chairman of the board of NBC decided to tune in, to, of RCA, mm -hmm. decided to tune in now to you, my show. How do you know this? Because I know, I know everybody in the business, Dave. No, I just, I've heard rumors of this. I've heard rumors about this. Rumors, you know, the yeah. rumor mill was yeah. flying. Uh -huh. And uh, I heard that the chairman of the board was rolling by in his car, and he heard me doing bestiality dial a day, and the guy got bent out of shape. But I wasn't really going to do it. I was talking about doing it. I was discussing it. Just conjecturing that perhaps you would Conjecture, Dave. Yeah. Now, but you, you would never do that, would you? Of course not. I wouldn't set a man up with a dog. I think that's sick. <laughs> You know, at some point you have to draw a line, don't you? Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. Uh, and you went to London a couple of months ago? We went to London. We did our show from the Hard Rock Cafe. Those guys, bags, they kicked me out of the Hard Rock Cafe. I'm never coming back again. I mean it, Dave. And um, you know they are. I, I've never never actually been there, but oh, yeah. I've heard there's nothing... Hey, what do you want to do? Go see Elvis's old guitar hanging on a wall? Still the same crummy hamburgers. Just because they have Elvis's guitar hanging on the wall doesn't make it any better or worse. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of the Hard Rock Cafe. I'm tired of those yeah. hit places. Uh, so it's, how, how did the audiences like you in London? Oh, they hated us. Yeah. But we are the ugly Americans. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. Yeah, we did nothing to uh, help the situation yeah. over there. And you, you have... Uh, you have here a, uh, uh, this is the current issue of, well, actually the September 86 issue of uh, Penthouse uh, Magazine. Big article in there about uh, you and... Uh, uh, and a your... lot about a yeast infection. <laughs> you know, I had a great idea to, on this show. You guys never let me do this. I want to ask you why. I was going to come out tonight. I was going to bring two big fluffy pillows mm -hmm. with me. And I thought we would do the interview in a more comfortable environment. Instead of sitting in the chairs where I tend to look bad because you see a side shot of my nose, I would have liked to have sat on the floor in big fluffy pillows and done it like that. Kind of yeah. like interview style, but everybody. And you your idea of a really good idea. You don't like that? Well, I, I don't know that big fluffy pillows really makes a bunch of difference. You want a fluffy pillow next to me? No, I don't. I don't, you don't think I mean, so. I, yeah, Howard, you're, you're happening, remember? That's true. <laughs> so, so I think the, the pillows would only interfere with your happeningness. Yes, I <laughs> say that I am very glad to be done with NBC. All right, you said that. Honest to God, I am. I think you mentioned that. All right. Uh, K-Rock. K-Rock. WXRK. He's on in the morning now. You, you, you moved from afternoons to morning. Is that a tough transition for you? Oh, it's a lot of fun getting up at four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I really enjoy it. Yeah. yeah, but we did it for more money, basically. Not that I love radio. In fact, I hate radio. Yeah. I hate, I, I really do. Never go into radio, although you do get women. All right. 
Yeah, outside of the hotel there were like five women waiting for me. I couldn't believe it. I have groupies. Weren't you here or in London? No, I'm talking about right here. You're staying in a hotel. Yeah, right? I'm staying in a hotel. Okay. Uh, it's Howard Stern, uh, kids, uh, on Monday through Fridays at WXRK. What time is it, Howard? 6 to 10 in the morning. 6 to 10, a lot of time checks. It's going to be, a, yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of time checks, a lot of weather. We like to give the weather. Howard Stern. Nice to see you. Thank you very much, Howard.